Bellucci with the left foot. Oh. Danny Bellucci wants a goal. I was thinking of ways to get involved, and soccer always kind of came to mind. There were a lot of kids in these refugee camps. And he called me and was like, you want to go to the Middle East and go into some refugee camps? Everything inside of me was like, yes, let's do it. Most of what we do, if you see the training sessions, it's laughing, it's dancing, it's smiling. It's like the little oasis in the middle of the desert for these kids. Since the Syrian civil war broke out eight years ago, more than 11 million Syrians have been displaced, many of them fleeing right here to neighboring Jordan. And that brings us to our host here, Mehdi Bellucci, who spent more than 10 years in Major League Soccer. And for many of us, while the Middle East may feel like a world away, for Mehdi, it hit close to home. From Morocco, I lived in Morocco up, up until I was 17. It was my last year playing. There was a lot going on in Syria at the time. There was a lot of refugees fleeing. I was thinking of ways to get involved. There were a lot of kids in these refugee camps, and soccer is, is, is the most popular sport in Syria. So I started um, Kickstart Joy Foundation. The first people that we've connected with and have been massive help is the Catholic Foundation for Universal Education. And our goal is to bring joy to refugees. We just threw out on Twitter that we were coming, and I'm just blown away by what was sent. We have supporter groups from across Major League Soccer, equipment managers, strangers on Twitter. All of it has been so incredible. Hundreds and hundreds of cleats brought here to the camp. It was amazing. When the kids first come, the first thing they do is obviously get get a uniform, um, get a pair of shoes, and feel like you know a soccer player. Every time before the Mehdi come and his, uh, his uh, group, they ask him when they come, when they will give up the shoes, when they will give up the t-shirt, shorts. We really, we really love him and his team. This year they have new hijabs, sports hijabs. It's their first time to have uh, sports hijabs and to play with them. Amazing foundation and amazing team. نفس الفلسفة هذه فلسفة رودوكو ومساعد مدرب بيب غوارديولا. One of the biggest needs was they wanted to get better as coaches and um, and they they were always looking for opportunities for coaching education. We had you know about 30 people um, in the class and what we did is 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 just trying to kind of run them through some basic tactics and and how to run a proper session and had them present it to the group. For us to spend time with the adults, I think rejuvenates them, which allows them to bring more energy when they're with the kids. It just shows them that people still remember them and think about them. They sit and do everything with us, so you feel like they are one of us. Yeah, the border there, so at night maybe we can see the lights from my city. And yeah. it's just six miles that way. That way, yeah. We thought this would be, would be like one month, two months, and we'll back to Syria. But now six years and a half and continue. We have a small house here in the camp. But does it feel like home? No, it's like, not like home. These people still want to go home. They can't wait for the war to be done and they're able to go back and connect with their families and be in their home. There's something about pain and there's something about this like human condition that like has the ability to create joy and like still dance when you're in a really hot desert. It took us a moment to realize that we weren't here for the soccer. They already play. It was to show them that we care, to give them this experience that they don't, don't otherwise have, to laugh in a way that they don't otherwise laugh. I'm all about contact. There's so much in touch, like meeting their hands, I think shows them that I'm present and like ready to just meet them where they're at and not really have an agenda. I think Mehdi and I have this real admiration for the people that are like actually living this refugee life. Like that's probably the, <laughs> the part why we're kind of on the same page, yeah. It's really amazing like how happy they are, they are once they get on the field. That's the whole point of this Kickstart Joy thing is once you are on the field is to forget what happened before or even outside the field. If we keep seeing that, then we're gonna keep doing this. Next up, Mehdi hopes to extend the program into more camps. That's a wrap from Jordan. We'll see you on the next episode of Beyond the Stands presented by Wells Fargo.